Celeste Dixon is suing Monique Curry in the amount of $584. Ms. Dixon claims Ms. Curry attacked her and pulled her braids out of her scalp, which left her bald. Ms. Curry claims Ms. Dixon attacked her first, so she defended herself and says she also suffered injuries and ripped clothes. In the matter of Celeste Dixon versus Monique Curry, and you're asking her, Ms. Dixon is asking Ms. Curry to pay you $584 for having to buy you some new hair. Yes, um, ma'am. Because of a fight the two of you engaged in. Okay, yeah. tell me about it. Well, it all started six months ago. I've been dating this guy, and I invited him to my apartment uh, party. It happens every year around Labor Day. And so I'm there chilling with my boyfriend, his name is Sam, when uh, Miss Dixon here walks over to him and hugs him. So At he your, tells me- Your place? No, it was like the apartment complex and we oh. were having like a yearly party, a okay. Labor Day party. And so I'm there with my boyfriend and she comes over and hugs him. And after which he tells me, oh, she's just a friend. I'm like, okay, whatever. A uh, couple weeks later, I noticed that every time I see her, she me mugging me, attitude, making up her face and stuff like that. So I approached her. I was like, um, you know, I know you're, I know you used to date my boyfriend. What's the problem you got with me? She was like, oh, um, I got a problem with you because he's still messing around with you. I'm like, but we're in a relationship, so, That you know. should have told you something right there. First of all, I called him up on the spot, Your Honor. So I, she was talking all this trash there together. I'm like, okay, whatever. Let's call Sam right you now. You guys live in the same apartment complex? We yes. live in the same apartment complex. <laughs> yeah. And so I called Sam up on the phone. I'm like, you know, this girl's here telling me, Oh, you guys are together. He's like, oh, we're not together. What'd you expect him to say? I had him on speaker. She was right there, and, you know, she walked off like, whatever, okay. And he called me 45 minutes later telling me, no, I'm going to break up with her. Your Honor. So both of you sound like two little silly people to me. <laughs> Your you Honor. You call the man on the phone and say, this girl says she's with you, are you? And you expected him to say, oh, no, baby. I mean... Yeah, I mean, he would have told me the truth because we've been together for a minute. And well, she said, okay, so she says 45 minutes later he called her and said, mm -hmm. I'm going to break up with her, right? Correct. So now which is the truth? That he wasn't with her or that he was with her? Your Honor, I don't know. I'm not here for the games. I'm just telling you that this is how I, I met this girl. And every time I see her, she's showing me a bad face. I asked her, what's her problem? She says she's dating the same guy. I'm like, whatever, you know? So when I seen her a couple weeks again, my, I was with my friends and they started, you know, making fun of her because I had told them what was happening. And instead loud. of her like minding her business, so loud. she, she, okay. she said something to me. I'm like, why are you even talking to me? My friend said something. I didn't say nothing to you. You know, I'm just there like with my friends. And she just started to talk to me like, oh, I better watch myself, check my friends. I'm like, excuse me? Like, check check myself? Like, if you want it right now, we could get at it, you know? And So you called her out to fight? Yeah, not to fight, but she... You said if yeah. we wanted to get at it. She was good and back at me like, oh, I could hit you in the face, whatever I want. I was like, no, you're not going to hit me in my face, but if you want it, we could do it, you know what I mean? So, so you called her out? She called me out first by, you know, so talking then to me crazy. So hit the face then, huh? After that, I bend down by the door and um, to you fix my... You with somebody to offer to hit you in the face. You had to do it to bend over. After that, she no. wasn't doing nothing, Your Honor. So I was just like really waiting for her to do it. She wasn't doing nothing. I bend down, fix my shoes to show her I'm not going anywhere either. And, you know, that's when she pushed me down. No one pushed you. You did push no me. No one pushed you. So, hold on. So, you bend down to fix your shoes. After somebody talks smack to you, you bend down. Lord, you're not from the streets. You don't ever turn your back on somebody. Please. Uh, and, <laughs> and then she pushed you, and then what happened? After she pushed me, I showed her that I was from the street. And what did you do? I jumped up. I grabbed her from behind and started hitting her in the face. That's when I noticed she wasn't from the street because she started pulling my hair, pulling my clothes and everything. I'm like, this girl not trying to fight. No, she I tried wasn't. to pull my clothes from and pull my hair. 
Like I'm a real girl you. from the streets don't fight like that, Why would honey. I fight you over a you man? don't you don't do it well, like that. It sounds like you didn't do too well coming from the street because you ended up with all your hair she, pulled out. She she hit me with a with, with with a push me on the floor move. Like you no. know, like who does that? Push me on the floor like. Come on, she pushed me on the floor. So now no you're trying to you. judge who fights the best and what kind it's of not fight. About, is. Your Honor, I don't be fighting over men or nothing like what that. You call that? But right. She, she wanted it, Your Honor. She no. was like in oh, my you face. Are so I'm silly. silly. Okay, I've had enough of you. Coming up on. Well, you are so I'm silly. Listening. Okay, I've had okay. enough of you. Let me hear what you have to say. Your Honor, Sam and I are friends, and we have been friends. We dated in the past, and obviously he was dating both of us. That's not he's been heard. in my ear talking about, I want to be with you again. Mm -hmm. I'm, of course, that's what he's going to say, but I didn't know about Celeste until that day party around Labor Day mm -hmm. when he introduced me as a friend, because we were friends, but we were dating. Of course, he would take me out, take me to the library. So he's playing both of them. He, he, he was. Friends, dating, he was. playing whatever. both of them. But, of course, my feelings And he probably not worth two cents. No, not oh. at all. But at, at the end of the day, Your Honor, I was, of course, I'm going to have my feelings invested. I've known this man. We've dated before. So my feelings are in but the But you're not with him now? That's no, but it, at the same time, I didn't know about her. He was so in my what, ear. You fight over I wasn't trying to fight from the jump, Your Honor. So I, why'd you push her then? I didn't push her. So the day in question, I was coming home from setting. It was late night, and she re neglected to tell you that they were going out. They were going to go to a party That's and drop the yoke somewhere. Hey, be quiet. I'm not having all this now. I'm here. <laughs> And when she, when her and her friends were at the door or, or at the apartment complex, I noticed that they were loud, and I purposefully used the other stairs to come up from the other side because they were leaving. They were obviously going to go to the parking lot versus the street corner. So I went up that side of the par the, the stairs to get into the apartment complex. So then complex. how did you guys end up in she the same place? She stayed there. She stayed in the front of the door and wouldn't let me in. So I'm standing there like with my books coming home from my study group. Can I please get by? Excuse me. I, I just want to go home. It's late. I've been studying all day. Excuse me. Honor, her, her and her so friends are just talking her smack, she calling me names, me saying this. You, know, you, you need just, to be quiet. Calling me like the side and all this stuff and oh you know you a H O E and I'm like you did you do need to check your friends like they're they have nothing to do oh with this if you want to talk about this okay tell me what happened from your part so then you didn't hit her you no didn't push her? so she bent down to fix whatever she was doing and then I nudged past her because there was some space to get through the door so I nudged past and the door when I opened it bumped her so is she, that the only door you could go through yes that was oh. the that was the front door to the apartment complex so I opened the door and so it it's one bumped of the her. Main, has a main door and then it opens and then you go into the different apartments yeah oh, okay so i go inside it bumps her she flops down exaggerating everything and then she ends up pu pushing back on the door and hits me i hold it back and then that's when she says oh, okay well you 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 really want to get into it so she started she pushed me from behind and then I, with the momentum that's what I grabbed. You see how long her hair is? That's how mm -hmm. long her braids your were. Honor. So that's what I grabbed on. But I'm not going to fight her. I'm not a fighter, Your well, Honor. Well, that sounds like that's what you all would do. She wanted to fight me. Okay, she so why are started. you here? Because your hair got your, pulled out. Your Honor, I, your honor after, sh after I, I fought her, I went home. I didn't even go home. Okay, I went so your hair got pulled out. You have some injuries? Yeah, she pulled on my clothes. It got ripped up. I mean, I have. She was beating me on the side of my face right here. I didn't take any pictures because that's. I mean, if you fight, that's what happens. I so know. I moved on. So now both of you got beat up, right? I got my evidence right here, Your Honor. I don't care about your evidence. You start a fight with somebody, you don't know what you're supposed to do with Your me. Honor, I didn't start it. She started it. Oh. She I beat start me and just pushed me down like she had a problem with me forever. Like, girl, I don't you know you. You want me to smile at you? I don't know you, girl. You, no. You're talking to the same you guy as so me. That doesn't silly. mean you I'm not going to smile at you. crazy crap. Uh. Girl, I don't know you. You want to come at me? That is so <laughs> silly. Your Honor, I think she intentionally tried to harm me when and she why found not? out. Now. You intentionally tried to harm her? No, I didn't harm you. I'm trying to defend myself, oh, Your Honor. You, both of you got what was coming to you. You know, you got hurt. You got your hair pulled out. Had to go get a wig and a wig. You got your clothes tore up. You got your face messed up. You both got what you deserve. And tell me, here's my question. Where is Sam? <laughs> Your Honor, after Where all is this, Sam? I, I now, up it don't him. matter because I don't talk to Not him. talking to either one of you, bro. Off with somebody else. Am I right? Who knows? Probably. Mm. And the two of you tearing and clawing at each other like, you know, <laughs> over Sam. And he can give a dog about both of them. He's just somewhere laughing. He and his buddies talking about it. Man. <laughs> 
See how silly that is? Two beautiful young ladies in college. You in college too? Yes, ma'am. College. Getting an education. But the first lesson you have to learn from your education that doesn't come from a school book is you don't fight over a man. It won't make any difference. You're not going to stop him from doing what he wants to do because commitment comes from the heart. And no matter what you do and how you fight each other, it's not going to make him be with either one of you exclusively. You just have to love yourself enough not to allow it. You mad at her? She coming at me like she looking at me. So what? She looking at you. She can look at you any way she wants to and vice versa. That's the silliest mess in the world. Judgment for the defendant. Your case is dismissed. You both got what you deserve. I'm out of here. Get out of my courtroom. Judge Maybelline has ruled in favor of the defendant. The plaintiff's claim is...